Hi, my name's Keith Cooper of North Light Images and in this short video I'm going to try and answer a question I was asked recently about a good small printer for photos. Now, by small printer I mean typically an A4 or letter size printer. Now there may be reasons why you want a small printer, you may not have the space for a large one, but unfortunately it's true that if you are really keen on printing photos, then you need a bigger printer, um, A3, A3 Plus or larger. Why is this? Well, it's not just the size of making prints, although I'll come back to that. Um, that's A4. So this is an A3 sheet, so A4 is half of that. Letter is slightly different, 8.5 by 11 if I remember rightly. Uh, not a common size here in the UK. Uh, A4 much more common. But yeah, for a small printer like that, what's wrong with smaller printers? Well, first of all, with a larger printer, and I've done quite a few reviews of these, so whether it be something like the Epson XP15000, Canon Pro 200, 300, and the Epson larger P700, 900 printers, I've got covered all of those, they invariably have more inks. Now, the more inks you have in a printer, in general, there are exceptions to this, but the more inks you have in a printer, the smoother the graduation, the smoother the tonal uh, coverage. So in areas, for example, like the blue on this, or if I was to print this, uh, the sky here, uh, things like that, tonal gradations, colour gradations are smoother with more inks. It, it just happens to be so. I've looked elsewhere at the difference between pigment inks and dye-based inks. Uh, pigment inks uh, tend to be higher quality, although there are specific reasons you might choose to use dye-based inks. Pigment prints, inks tend to come in larger printers. But in general, your bigger printers, and by that I mean 13 inch width and above, they tend to have more inks, uh, gives better results. There are no A4 or you know, small letter size printers that have a rich, wide range of inks in them. Uh, doesn't mean you can't get good looking results, but if you're really keen on getting the best prints of your photos, you need a bigger printer for that because that's where the inks come. A second, that's, that's something that's you know, relatively obvious uh, in terms of the specifications. What you don't see is that the larger uh, printers tend to, in the driver software, support far more media types. Media types, what do I mean? Uh, different types of paper. Now, for each print, ideally, you want to have a setting that matches the kind of paper that you're using. So this is a Barita style paper, so it's quite thick. Um, it has a sort of luster finish or silk finish, very nice photo paper. Uh, one I use quite a lot for, uh, for prints in larger than this, is A3. So the media types that are supported, you get a wider range for larger printers. Now that doesn't mean you can't use different media types with smaller printers. It's just that they won't necessarily be optimised for it. So with a large printer, you might get quite a range of fine art type papers. Uh, whereas with a smaller printer, you might just get one matte paper. That's a slight problem, but it also means that it's more difficult, unless you're making them yourself, uh, to make printer profiles for the printers. Uh, this means that third party suppliers, so paper suppliers, like Hannah Muller and all the big names like that, they don't tend to produce profiles for you for small, what they consider, office printers. They'll produce profiles for the larger printers, so XP15000, Pro200, you'll have no difficulty getting profiles for those. You don't get profiles for the smaller printers. Um, it's just, uh, there are so many of them, they change models so quickly that the paper makers just don't see it as a market for high-end work. It's a lot of effort to make the profiles, it's an expense. Why should they do it? Because the fine art market and better photo printing market uses bigger prints. Uh, so there you've got it. Those are the simple reasons. Uh, there are more inks in the bigger printers, they support more media types, and you're much more likely to get printer profiles. There's one last bit I should mention. This is a personal thing. 
that's a four, that's an A3 sheet, so as the test image I use, and uh, whatever, that's A3. This is A3+, plus, or 13 inches by 19 inches. Now that's a nice, nice size for prints. Just if you ask me my personal preference, I would go for a minimum 17 inch printer because I like big prints and this is an A2 print made one of my architectural photographs. Um, you don't have to print this big if you've got a larger printer. So if you want to just do small prints, A4 prints on a larger printer, you can do them fine. But you get the option of doing this. And I will say that once you start making prints this size, it will have quite a positive effect on the rest of your photography. Uh, I've done other things about why printing helps your photography, how it does, how to choose papers even. So if you found this useful, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, if you've got any questions, please do ask, because it's somebody asking a question, emailing me this morning, and asking me about the availability of high quality small printers that led me to do this short video. So I uh, hope it's of use. Thank you.